So yes guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Movement6 and before we get into the video, and it's a growing habit, first of all, many thanks for all the subs this week. It's really crazy to see we've burst through the 100 subs and we're getting more momentum here. And thanks for you guys for reaching out. I really enjoy all the conversations, the feedback, the likes, and just the exchange of uh, some ideas and thoughts on the channel on, on, uh, on the videos I upload. Um, as you can see in the back end, it's getting more and more empty and empty here and October 4th next week is the day of the big move to the new home, new studio and I can't wait to show it's going to be freaking epic guys. It's really going to be very very nice and I can't wait to see and show it all. Um, but for now I just wanted to reflect on Modern Warfare. Um, um, we just had the second weekend of the beta and I believe that third weekend is coming around the corner next week maybe but I think we've landed on a point that we could reflect a bit on 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 modern warfare and if I'm really impressed and again this is my opinion right because I was really hoping that modern warfare would um, change my mind in, in in how I look at Call of Duty currently in the state it's in to an extent it did it did I, I enjoyed the, the, the beta I enjoyed it I also got a bit bored along the way because of the amount of maps and the amount of guns and modes that's normal right it's 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 just three maps a um, few guns um, that's it so I got a bit bored but the overall purpose of a beta is to uh, for me is to see if this is the game I really want to go for uh, and have fun with in all fairness, I had fun. I had fun with the beta. And it did show that Infinity Ward is on a better track than than Call of Duty in general was uh, in the last five, six year-ish, right? I think that Call of Duty has taken a turn for the worse. That's my, my opinion on this. Uh, ever since everything after Modern Warfare 3... Black Ops 1, yay, Black Ops 2, okay-ish, but in general, Infinite War, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, World War 2, this goes on and on, right? And, and I think also the whole annual release schedule also makes it undoable, if not uh, absolutely impossible for a game to thrive. Take Rainbow Six. It's a game that's maybe five, six years old, and it's heavily supported, and it grows to 50 million players. And the game has a momentum, it has a strong community, it has a dialogue between developers and a community, and things develop, right? For, for Call of Duty, there's nothing to develop. You got a one year, and in that year, you need to make as much amount of money as possible. Um, but on the other side, I do still hope that Cod finds his momentum back and gets a game that's right. In my previous video, I said that one of the biggest issues in, in, in really get some momentum again and, and, and positive vibe in general around this game is to stop releasing annually. Support Modern Warfare for the three years to come with, with maps, with content, with updates. I don't care, you know, make it a total different game in, in, in the period of three three years and make sure that you have a solid base of people keep on coming back. Um, that's not going to happen, I think. Uh, but I did hope that Modern Warfare was bringing some nostalgia back. But th let's get into a few nitty-gritty details, right? So these are things I like, I don't like, needs to change or, or whatever. So... First of all, the engine. I think that it's really good that they've changed the engine, right? They've they've got a new engine. It it looks good. It's not the best looking game. We've reached a time with this console generation that you should be able to make a game look even better than this one, right? There are better looking games out there. Um, but in all fairness we finally departed from the old engine and to me black ops 4 and black ops 3 and all the other games built on the old engine it's nothing more than a playstation 3 quality on steroids that that's it full stop and we finally have a game now that 
it, it, it gives some room for maneuver in terms of graphics and, and what they want to do with the game. So And that shows, you know. So it, that's good. It's good. The color scheme is good. I do think that the dark layer that is a bit over this game is not really... It, it helps camping a lot because you only see the name of the enemy popping up when you're ADSing. So um, there is, for me, that's a big issue. Um, okay, that's just something you have to deal with. It's a developer's choice to do it. But overall, the engine looks good. It, it, it looks good. I think also the whole atmosphere of the game in terms of the modern day, modern warfare days, right? It's, it's boots on the ground. It, the sound is great. The sound is really good. Uh, the reloads, the, the, the shooting mechanics, it, it really good. It's 60 frames per, per second across the board, so that's also good. It's nothing but good moves there. Um, in terms of modes, I think the 2v2 is, is a gimmick. It's nice. It's, it's, a, it's a gunfight on steroids. It's nice. It's maybe good to do among friends, but it's not a long-lasting mode for me. Um... But it's nice. It's a nice addition. I think the realistic mode is fun, you know, in the dark. Uh, it's fun. It also gets, in that sense, a bit bored because I, after a few matches, I started to realize that I do miss the color scheme, right? <laughs> it's, it's all, everything is green because you got your night vision on. But it's a fun modus, right? It's fun. It, it changes the pace and it's a nice change of pace in that sense to, to do it. The multiplayer, um, there are some huge issues in there. First of all, the Claymores. It's appalling. They're way overpowered. You can't see them. Um, it, they need to change that. Which they will because it's not the first time somebody's mentioning Claymores, right? So the maps. The maps are pretty good. Uh, I, we've seen three new maps. And the biggest criticism in the past has always been uh, the, uh, uh, the maps and the DLC, especially for Black Ops 4. Uh, th these are good maps. These are really good. I think also the, the cave map is so-so. But the other two maps, I, I really enjoy the layout, the way it works. And you not really have that three-lane sense of feeling. So that was good for me. Um, I think they finally sat around the table and thought of a few good maps. So it, it does make you looking forward to the other new maps that are going to be in there. So these three maps, one is moi, cave map. The other two pretty good um i do think that the modern warfare uh, environment or saga or universe or however you want to call it also gives a lot of old maps we are looking for or looking forward to right um terminals one of them there are so many maps in the modern warfare environment that we want to see remake and brought back but that's one of the biggest criticisms i could have is that black ops 4 relied solely on those maps the only good maps in black ops 4 were the old maps now we've seen two new good new maps fine but i don't want this game to lean on the old maps that needs to be a plus an icing on the cake right um the cake needs to be good the icing need, that that's the, the old maps that are reworked so i really hope they get that in order um what is a bit of a weird modus for me is ground war I've seen a lot of people saying that it's nice addition, it's fun, and yeah, it was fun. It did have a lot of glitches, it had a popping up texture that didn't load until seconds into a game. Fine, I got some examples. This is not a gameplay video, this is more a reflecting video, right? So, um, to me, it shows an identity crisis. Because, come on, this was Battlefield. As soon as I, I started playing and made my first steps into this environment, people taking off in helicopters and sitting in, 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 in vehicles or tanks. I, I'm I playing Call of Duty or I'm I playing Battlefield. You know, and I think the biggest problem of Call of Duty is that they don't know who they are and they don't know how to express what they want to be. And... Keep it simple, you know, do, do the simple things good, then eventually the difficult things will come. And to me, as much as I could enjoy the 32v32 ground war, it's Battlefield without the destruction. They've got an engine that's upgraded. They want to do something that is a 
copy paste from from battlefield but they can't work around the destruction for some weird reason so to me is there a reason to buy a product from company a that does it better than company b uh i would stay stick to company a because to me battlefield is doing large-scale warfare simulators better than call of duty does now so there's no reason to go for a call of battlefield game right that that's what it is full stop so that's not the main driver so we only have the single player campaign left and which nobody really knows what it is i am looking forward to it for some weird reason because i'm i'm well weird reason i'm a sucker for single players i i just like it you know yeah, to, to dig in six and a half seven hours of single player shooters some good story mode maybe a wink to the past you know so which is fine um but the overall multiplayer I would give it a 7 out of 10 right now. There's a lot to work on. But it could easily drop to a 6 or a 5 out of 10. And the reason is, is that I'm still not going to pre-order it. And that's the bad taste in my mouth over the last years. We know loot boxes are coming back. This game is going to be highly monetized. Full stop. Don't think it's not. And the weird reason is, is that we see on YouTube a lot of channels... Uh, ranting and arguing against those uh those monetization schemes and they're rightfully so right eight thoughts has the best videos on call of duty in general full stop he's right on everything he says about this game even nero cinema is also addressing this but we need to be realistic activision has made 800 stagging million dollars 800 million dollars in the second quarter so q2 of the previous fiscal year of this fiscal year sorry for black ops 4 in micro transactions so let that freaking sink in right activision has made 800 million dollars in three months in just three months we're not talking about the other quarters. Just in Q2 alone, they made $800 million, so almost a billion dollars um, in, uh, in microtransactions for Black Ops 4. And that worries me because we can rant as much as we want about loot boxes, pay to win, paywalls, guns behind pay schemes. They are going to do it because there is no company, and especially not Activision, that will say to Infinity Ward, you know what? We're making on average six to eight hundred million per quarter in microtransactions. There are a few videos out there, and there is a whole community out there that don't want those microtransactions. You know what? We're not gonna do it. So if you divide that over a whole year with four quarters, you're talking about maybe two and a half, three billion, three three billion, you know. Uh, dollars uh, they're not going to let that sit there and say we're going to make a game support it in the long run hope that people will buy some cosmetics and then eventually we're going to do the dlc for free it's, it's bullshit they're not going to do it they're going to over monetize the freaking hell out of it and just like every call of duty we see they're going to put it out there and then they're going to um start the game and then tweak and then tweak and then tweak and then add and then add and within seven months we've got a total different game yes they said that the maps will be free kudos for you um but eventually they will monetize the hell out of it because they need to make that 800 million per quarter somewhere in that game they they are going to do it and that's what's holding me back from this game it's going to be an annual release scheme it's going to be supported for 12 months Maybe 11, let's say 11, because then we're already looking at the new Black Ops 5, I believe. So, you know, and this game is going to be over monetized and they need to make a lot of money in five, six months. So, full stop. I I was not enjoying the crossplay, by the way. Um, I think mouse and keyboard has got nothing to do with console players. I'm not saying I favor one or the other somebody wants to play mouse and keyboard go ahead somebody wants to play mouse and keyboard on console go ahead i do think that you're cheating a bit 
and yes, we can talk about aim assist and blah, 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 but you're quicker, full stop. And if PC players want to take on console players, and console players want to take on PC players, go ahead. But make sure that they're all using mouse and keyboard and let the, con the control players play against control players. Um, so I turned that off, you know, I was only playing against PlayStation uh, guys and on the Xbox against the Xbox guys. Well, bang. Um, so... <laughs> In, in essence, I I did had a fun time with with the beta. I did across the board, but there are too many elements. One based on the expectation of the game, to the expectation of the game in terms of what we know they've done in the last six years with this game, with a Call of Duty game, and also the amount of modes. From which I say they're either a gimmick, 2v2, or you could do it better with the competition. Whatever you think about Battlefield, where it is, in what state it is, Battlefield does large-scale warfare better than Call of Duty. So, there is only a multiplayer and they're going to monetize the hell out of that environment. Full stop. So, for me, you see some... Videos passing by on buy, wait, or never touch. I'm not going to do that because that's not my concept. But in this sense, I would say wait. Wait with buying this game. See where it goes. And if they really put their money where their mouth is, then then, then the game it would be okay. Um, I am looking forward to what you guys think. There's no game player, so I hope you've watched the video. Share some thoughts on, on Modern Warfare, guys, because I'm really keen on, on understanding where you guys are with this game. Um, are you playing it? Enjoy the beta? Are you going to do it? Going to pre-order it? For now, I do appreciate if you would slap that like button and subscribe and put on your notifications, of course, because stay up to date on what we're doing on the channel here. We're growing, and I'm really, really uh, humbled by the fact that you guys find this channel more and more and reaching out to me. Um, for now, Movement 6 out. I will do a few more videos on Rainbow Six and a few other things, also on some productions I'm working on. But I'm going to move, guys, next week. So it could be that a few days at the end of next week and the beginning of the week after that, I'm gonna, this channel is not going to upload because I'm busy redecorating the studio. And then I will be back with a full tour of the new house and the new studio. For now, Movement 6 out, guys. Back to the madness.